Welcome to Valencia, a beautiful city located along the Mediterranean sea coast in Spain. In this city you can find the old world charm, modern buildings and beautiful beaches, making it a beloved travel destination. In this video you'll get to join me and my friend Taro as we explore Valencia. Hello everyone, my name is Janika. I am currently waiting at the Rotterdam Central Station for my friend Taru as today we are heading off on a little girls trip to Valencia, Spain. I've never been to Valencia before so I'm super excited. I'm also super excited because I haven't seen Taru since October and now it is June so it's been more than half a year so I'm very excited to see her again soon. The reason why I'm waiting for her at Rotterdam Central Station and not at Schiphol Airport is because today we're actually flying from the Rotterdam airport. I've never flown from there before so that'll be a whole new airport for me and yeah I'm waiting for her here and then we'll be taking the metro and heading to the airport together. So today is a Monday and we're gonna be in Valencia until Friday and this is also the first time me and Taru travel together so that'll also be interesting to see because I do feel like you always learn new sides about people when traveling with them and also it's kind of funny that we haven't seen each other in such a long time and the first thing that we do is that we go to Spain to together. Today is our first full day in Valencia and I think for me, for today's plan is that we're gonna go into the city center and just kind of get a feel for the city, walk around, maybe see some sights. You know? Yeah. How do you feel about your first day in Valencia? Yeah, it's good. Our first spot of the day was the City Hall, an iconic landmark of Valencia. This building serves as the seat of the municipal government and houses Valencia's municipal archives. It's a stunning building that's free to visit.
Mercado Central is one of the largest and oldest functioning markets in Europe. It's a vibrant hub for fresh produce, seafood, meats, spices and local delicacies. It opened in 1928 and the market features over 1,200 stalls and is a favorite spot for both locals and tourists. Of course, I couldn't visit without buying something for myself to try as well. Got myself a pineapple and coconut smoothie. It was three euros. Let's try it out. Tastes really good. It was really thick, like it's barely coming out through the straw. <laughs> I think it would be easier to drink without this straw. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Loccia della Seda is one of Valencia's UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It's an impressive Gothic-style building that was built between 1582 and 1533. This building used to serve as a traditional hub particularly for silk, symbolizing Valencia's prosperity during the medieval period. The entrance to visit is only 2 euros and it's a beautiful spot to visit, especially if you want to take some nice photos. The main cathedral in Valencia is a stunning historical landmark in the city's old town. The entrance cost is 8 euros and includes an audio tour. This cathedral has actually been built over a former mosque following the Christian conquest in the 13th century. The cathedral also features a museum showcasing religious art and artifacts. Only afterward did I realize that this cathedral is the home of the real Holy Grail that I somehow managed to miss out on completely. I don't understand how, um, yeah, I'm kind of annoyed by it as well, but I did however manage to see the arm of the dead Saint Vincent. Y y yeah. this cathedral there's also a tower that you can climb up to but when I was there there was quite a long line for this so we decided to skip it this time. We've just had some dinner. The food was mm, okay. It didn't taste bad, but it was maybe, it wasn't like mind-blowingly good either. Now we're just walking around and we're gonna see if we could maybe find some nice terrace or something where to sit down and enjoy the evening for a bit. We've come for some sangria and look at the size of this drink. It's the size of my head and oh they turned on the lights and we also ordered some mancheco cheese that's still gonna come soon it's my favorite cheese in the whole entire world so i'm really excited to have it but um yeah cheers cheers 
maku testi. Hyvä. Onko se vahvaa? Vai ihan no, ok? Näyttääks tää juusto nyt yhtään tutulta? Se on aina leikataan tämmöseen kolmia. Se on siis tommonen paale. Good morning, today is day number two here in Valencia. I'm wearing some new jewelry that I bought yesterday. I bought this cute little ring and then I also bought this matching bracelet. Today we have lots of fun things planned and we're going a bit like further away so we need to take the bus to our first destination and to buy a bus ticket you need to either do it with cash, have a metro card, or you can also use an app. So there's an app called MT Ticket, and it's really easy to use. And like one ticket costs only a euro and 50 cents. So yeah, if you're ever in Valencia and wonder how to get around, I recommend downloading this app. It's very handy. A striking cultural and architectural complex featuring futuristic design is a beautiful area to visit in Valencia. You can explore the outdoor areas for free, but if you want to visit the cinemas or theaters or museum, then you need to buy a ticket. Wow, this area is so beautiful, but I feel like I can't give it justice on camera like it looks in real life much better than what it looks like on camera I'll try my best oh, so pretty and super like futuristic vibes it's kind of reminding me a little bit of hello it's reminding me a bit of Singapore actually it has a bit similar vibes to it and this water looks so satisfying and it's so warm I wish I could <laughs> jump in and take a dip so all of these buildings are different the one over there is some kind of like theater and then this one over here is some kind of movie theater, I think. And then that one over there is a science museum. And then if we walk a little bit forward, there will also be a dolphinarium and aquarium close by. I don't, I'm not sure if it's also in a similar looking building or not. And then back there is also like a nice park that you can walk through. We'll be going there soon to check it out too, but um, yeah really cool spot if you come to valencia this is an absolute must visit place i'm not sure if they like show normal movies in here it says like an imax theater but on the photos it looks like the kind where you sit down and you see that little globe inside and then you like look upward so it might be a bit like a planetarium kind of styled theater not sure if you know please let me know in the comments have now arrived to the beach. The beach here seems to be humongous. <laughs> it's not too busy, well I guess because it's so big that there's room for everyone, but it doesn't seem like overly packed and crowded, which I love. I think we're first gonna find a nice lunch spot here by the beach. Tää <laughs> Oh my 
my god. Look at this huge paella. Well, luckily it's to share, but still. <laughs> it's humongous. now managed to find a nice little spot here by the beach and Taru just went for her first swim. I think the water is quite cold though as it usually is in most parts of Spain. We've come back from the beach and took a shower, freshened up, had a bit of a siesta and now it's time to go out for dinner. I think tonight we're gonna try and find some nice tapas spot. So, let's go. <laughs> it's like all gooey cheese inside. Really good though. Today we decided to have a bit more of a chill day in Valencia featuring shopping, good food and walking around. Because sometimes it's just nice to be in a new city wandering around aimlessly without anything particularly planned. <laughs> oh my god. came to this cafe that we've passed by so many times and every time we're like we have to try that place out and turns out this place is super popular we were lucky that we found a table but um yeah it was really hard to choose what to order because there was just so much choice i got myself this juice mix and this pastry let's hope it's good <laughs> and i just realized i'm being filmed while i am filming <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Cheesecake one. 
Haru had actually something savory at the cafe, so she was craving something sweet afterward. And we happened to run across what's apparently her favorite ice cream shop that she has sometime visited in another country. But then after a while, I actually, on the other hand, started craving something savory instead, for which we found this Basque style tapas restaurant, which was just perfect for what I wanted. Today we had a bit of a shopping spree and I actually bought this shirt and I also bought these shorts and then I'm also wearing the bracelet I bought a few days ago and my ring so my whole and also actually the sunglasses so everything that I'm wearing right now tonight for dinner is bought from Valencia so this is Janica the Ed Valencia edition so yeah that's quite fun and especially now when I'm tanned these colors look really nice. Soon it is time for us to go out for our last dinner here in Valencia. I can't believe how fast this trip has gone, but um, yeah, let's still enjoy the time we have left to the fullest. Con el calor de tus manos, con el sabor de tu boca, brazos siempre deseado amar así me entrego a ti como el sol se entrega sorry for this really bad lightning making me look all pink i thought i ordered pepper stuffed with fish but it seems like i've actually ordered fish stuffed with peppers let's try oh it seems there's fish and then there's a pepper and there there's fish again. It looks quite interesting. Mm -hmm. It's a very strong fishy taste. It's like a bit of a gooey fish stuff inside. Very interesting. It looks like this when you open it up. And just also received my Spanish omelette. Oh my God, this one's huge. We both ordered our own. <laughs> I think we should have ordered one to share actually. Holy moly, it's huge. Sadly, it was time to go back home and toward the next adventures.